I'm super excited about today's video. Um, it's just a really cool story, and I love when uh, science and scripture collide, and that's what's gonna happen in today's story, so I hope you really like it. So there used to be a man many years ago, his name was Matthew Fontaine Murray, and he lived from 1806 to 1873. He was a very, very smart man. He was a historian, he was an educator, he was an oceanographer, a meteorologist, he worked for the Navy, you get it. There's, it's a long uh, resume. So, but unfortunately, uh, one day he had taken sick and he was in bed and his daughter had come to visit him. And so he asked his daughter to read the Bible. So she randomly opens to Psalms chapter eight, verse eight. Okay, I'm gonna read that. Open up your Bibles, y'all. Okay, and it says, um, the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the seas. So she reads that and he's like, paths of the seas? He says, paths, if, there's path, if God says there's paths of the seas, then there are paths of the seas. And when I get out of this bed, I'm gonna find him. So he was a devout Christian and he believed that the Bible uh, was scientifically true, which I know that's true. Um, but he really, because he was so smart, um, he really took every word to heart and, and he ended up going and got out of his bed, got feeling better and ended up finding the ocean currents, which is super cool. So because of him, um, ships have these ocean currents and they can um, travel through them and, and it really sped up the process of travel and it's just an amazing story and I think it's just really, really cool. Um, so I'm glad I was able to share that with you. I'll post some pictures. There's a monument of him in Virginia. I'll post some pictures down below. If you're on, if you're watching on Facebook, if you're watching on YouTube, you can you can research it yourself. But if you're watching on Facebook, I'll post that and I'll post some scriptures. But um, I thought it was really cool. And not only that, but we know that Jesus Christ is the creator of this earth. And I I just believe in my heart that he gets excited for us when we find these things, you know, he's, he's the great scientist, right? So, um, and we can read, we know that he's the creator, right? If we open up our scriptures to um, John chapter one, verse three, it says, all things were made by him, that's Jesus, our savior, all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. So he made it all. <laughs> Um, so I'm just really grateful for the Savior and for the scriptures and the knowledge and the truth that's out there if we just search our scriptures. So I hope this gives you some motivation to open up your scriptures and read them today. What kind of revelations or those little nuggets of truth can you find that can shape your life? Now, you might not find anything, some kind of scientific method or anything, but I know that there's truth there that can be amazing and it can be just for you it's personal just for you let the holy spirit guide you and you'll be amazed i know that that's true and i say these things in the name of jesus christ amen